Hello, this is Kayla Davis with the ODU ePortfolio Studio, and in today's video, I will be showing you how to upload YouTube videos onto your WordPress ePortfolio. Whenever you need to upload a video onto your WordPress ePortfolio, we always recommend uploading the video to YouTube, setting it as unlisted, and then using the simple YouTube Embed plugin to put the YouTube video directly onto your ePortfolio. So let's go ahead and do that process here together. So first, I want to make sure that when I am on my WordPress ePortfolio, I have the simple YouTube Embed plugin activated. So let's go ahead and do that by going up to our name right here and then clicking Dashboard. And this is our dashboard. So now we are going to go ahead on the left hand side, click on plugins. And then we're going to go to our right hand side where it says search installed plugins and type in YouTube. And this right here is the simple YouTube embed. Now we can see that it says activate underneath this plugin. When it says the word activate, that means that the plugin is not already activated. So we want to go ahead and click on the word activate underneath simple YouTube embed. And now that we've clicked on the word activate, we can see that there is this blue overlay on top of the name of this plugin, meaning that the plugin has been properly activated. So now that we've done that process, let's go ahead and go back to our site by clicking on this little home icon here with the name of our site and then we can just click this to visit our site. So let's say I want to go to my general education page and add a video there. In order to add a video to any page on your ePortfolio, we're going to click on Edit Page. Then we're going to click the Add Block icon. And then we can click on YouTube. YouTube will sometimes be underneath the most used category, but if not, you will scroll down until you see embeds. Then you will click to expand and then select YouTube. Once you've done that, you will see this box that allows you to insert a YouTube URL. This is where uploading our video to YouTube comes in. So I'm just going to go to youtube.com and once I am at youtube.com, I'm going to click this create button. And then I'm going to click upload video. Once I'm at the upload videos window, I'm going to click select files. This will open up our Finder or our File Explorer, and then we can go to Desktop here, and I will just do this video right here. It's best that the video is in MP4 or MOV format, um, but YouTube takes a variety of video formats. So we're just going to go ahead and click our video and click Choose or Open. And so there are multiple parts of this page. We can see that we have the title, we have a description, we have an area that we can put the thumbnail, we have an audience, and then as you can see down here, we have an area that will tell you um, if the video is uploaded and processed. So we want to make sure it gets to 100% processed. So while it's going to 100% processed, I'm just gonna go ahead and change the name of this video. All right, restoring deleted WordPress pages. And then I can add in a description. So this video will show, oops. Deleted page on WordPress, okay? And then we can also add in a thumbnail, which I can leave this here and then if I want to come back and add a thumbnail I can do that as well so I can just 
click from any one of these thumbnails or I can make my own and upload it from my computer. But you can always come back and do that later if needed. All right, and then once we scroll down to audience, go ahead and select no, it's not made for kids, just so you don't get in trouble with YouTube. Um, so I just always tell students to select no, it's not made for kids. And then once we've done that, let's go ahead and click on next. And then you can do an end screen. So if you have an end screen that you want to upload from your computer to add to your video, you can do that as well. You can also do cards, which are basically the little eye on the corner um, whenever you want to in your video highlight a past video that you've done. So I don't have any of those to add in right now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on next. And then lastly, the visibility. This part is very important. Go ahead and set your video to unlisted. And then you can see it kind of gives you a disclaimer, but the only thing that you need to do on the visibility page is set it as unlisted. You do not want to set it to private because private makes it so that when you try to embed the video into your WordPress site, um, it will have Kind of a grayed out display people won't be able to view it. it it will give you an error message so you want to set it as unlisted if you don't want people to be able to search for your video but you want the video to be able to be shown on your wordpress page you can even set it to public if you would like but i usually just tell students to go with the unlisted option so once we have that let's go ahead and look at our bottom here um, we can see that it says finished processing that's what you want to see. So now that the video is finished processing, we're gonna go ahead and copy the video link using this icon. And then we're going to click on save. And then it gives you the video again, you can just close. All right, so now let's go ahead and go back to our WordPress page. And now that we have the video link copied to our clipboard, we're just going to go ahead and paste. And then we're gonna click on embed. Now this process will not work unless your video is 100% processed. So there's a difference between the video being 100% uploaded and 100% processed. Make sure that it is processed um, so that everything is up and working and actually on YouTube's servers. So once we've done that, let's go ahead and click on update. Then let's click on view page. And now we can see that we have the video right onto our WordPress ePortfolio. And if I were to click this play button, in this video, I will be showing you how to delete and recover a deleted page. We can play it directly on our WordPress page. So that is how you add YouTube videos onto your WordPress ePortfolio. Please check out our website and our YouTube channel for additional help and resources. Thank you so much and have a great day.